We will start the regular press conference by Minister Kamikawa. There are uh, three points. At uh, the first point, at the Cairo Summit for Peace held in Egypt on the 21st of October, I was the only minister from East Asia. Regarding the Israeli-Palestine situation that is escalating moment by moment, I unequivocally condemned the terrorist attacks by Hamas and others and clearly stated Japan's positions on how important uh, the followings are, immediate release of hostages, uh, seeking safety of civilians, all the parties to act based on international law, and third, calming down the situation as soon as possible. Regarding the response to humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip, which is the top priority at this moment, I emphasized the importance of delivering the required assistance to the people in Gaza Strip as quickly as possible, and secondly, to realize the release of foreign nationals remaining in the Strip, and from the medium and longer term perspective, I mentioned that this situation must not close the pathway to Middle East peace and that Japan's position to support two-state solution will not change going forward. In addition, I had bilaterals with President El Sisi of Egypt, President Abbas of Palestine, Foreign Secretary Cleverly of UK, Foreign Minister Colonna of France, Foreign Minister Jolie of Canada and others, and agreed on the importance of calming down the situation and agreed to closely communicate towards the improvement of uh, the humanitarian situation. At uh, the uh, conference, I have strongly and keenly felt how the Israeli-Palestine situation is a matter of emergency for respective countries and uh, the global uh, community. Based on the discussions of this conference, Japan uh, will continue uh, to work uh, carefully as required. And the second point is, in response to uh, the deterioration of humanitarian situation in Palestine and the Gaza Strip, on the 17th at the press conference, I myself announced uh, our position uh, to provide emergency humanitarian assistance. At today's cabinet discussion, I made a comment about $10 million of emergency grant aid. In particular, uh, through UNRWA, there will be $7 million, and through the International Red Cross, $3 million of support shall be provided for areas including food, water, medicine, and others. At the Cairo Summit for Peace held on the 21st, as I discussed, the top priority at this moment is to deliver the required assistance to the people in the Gaza Strip as quickly as possible. While working together with international organizations of relevant countries, we will offer assistance in accordance with the needs on the ground in a timely manner, and we will proactively call on the relevant parties. The third point today, Taking the opportunity of ASEAN Secretary General Kao Kim Hon visiting Japan to indicate the number of days until the commemorative summit meeting in December to mark the 50th year of ASEAN Japan friendship and cooperation, we have conducted a lighting ceremony for the countdown board. 53 days are remaining until the commemorative summit meeting. At the meeting, in order to jointly set out a new vision for cooperation between Japan and ASEAN. We would like to continue close cooperation with the ASEAN countries and the ASEAN Secretariat. Thank you. If you wish to ask a question, please raise your hand. If you are invited, come forward to the microphone, ask your question, and please tell us your name and affiliation. Masiyama san Asahi Shimbun. Matsuyama Asahi Shimbun. This is about the Israeli Hamas. 
the situation so far. Uh, Your Excellency, you have spoken on the phone with Foreign Minister of the G7, spoken about calming down the situation, improving human the situation, and to uh, take out uh, the nationals. And there has been close communication with G7 on the 23rd. Six countries other than Japan have issued this statement to support Israel and about the self-defense. What is your take uh, of Japan about uh, the six countries in the statement? And as Israelis counter attack becomes more intense, uh, do you think this statement is appropriate, which emphasizes self-defense of Israel? Uh, the Western countries are criticized as a pro-Israel, and you mentioned that the Japan continues to support two-state solution. Within the Middle East, how do you intend uh, to execute a balanced diplomacy in the Middle East? First point of your question, which is about the joint statement. Traditionally, within uh, the global community, there has been multiple frameworks, uh, discussions, or statement of positions regarding the Middle East uh, issue. And as part of that, uh, the statement has been issued uh, by parties other than the G7. In this way, depending on uh, the situations of the time or depending on each country's situations, cooperations and coordinations have been executed in various format. The second point, the assessment about uh, the leader statement. Japan's position is uh, we will refrain from offering specific assessment about joint statements offered by third party countries. However, in this statement, it does include ensuring uh, the environment to allow humanitarian support or immediate release of hostages or compliance with international law, which we have been appealing for consistently. About the third part of your question, uh, we have uh, always been carefully following uh, the changing situations on the grounds while ensuring uh, the safety of uh, the Japanese nationals. We are continuing our diplomatic effort to calm down the situation and to improve the human situations. In that regard, uh, on the 21st, I did attend the Cairo Summit for Peace, and I have demonstrated Japan's presence clearly. Prime Minister Kishida and as for myself, so far we have spoken on the phone uh, with the uh, Arabic countries or European countries, uh, we have confirmed our coordination to improve the humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip and about how to how to calm down the situation. When it comes to matters related to the Middle East, uh, there is an intertwined, complicated situation of religion, ethnic groups, or history, and the resolution is not at all easy. So far, Japan has had a communication with all the countries in the Middle East in our Middle East diplomacy. Under this situation, what is important is in view of uh, the underlying diplomatic current, we must uh, unequivocally condemn terrorist attacks by Hamas and others. And as I just mentioned, what is important is, number one, immediate release of hostages and securing safety of civilians. Number two, all the parties must act based on international law. And number three, we must calm down the situation as soon as possible. These are the important points. And therefore, Japan will continue to coordinate with all countries as the presidency of the G7. We will also continue our communication with relevant countries, including the Arabian countries. And we will continue to accumulate our diplomatic effort step by step. The next question, please, Igarashi san of NHK. Of NHK. Thank you again on Israel-Palestine situation. Hamas, which has effective control over Gaza Strip on the 23rd, they announced that two more hostages have been released. What's your reaction? And also, Israel and Palestine military conflict is taking place on the 26th. An emergency meeting that took place at the UNGA regarding the Ukraine situation. This kind of emergency meeting is taking place for the first time since 2018. What's the response by Japan? Thank you. To respond to your first question, on the 20th, two U.S. hostages and captives were released. And following that, on the 23rd local time, Hamas released two more Israeli women. At the same time, according to the announcement of the Israeli forces, there are still many people held hostage by Hamas. Japan has a 
condemned and terror attack by Hamas and so on decisively, and we have uh, held an, a position that it is extremely important first immediate release of hostages and civilians, safety should be ensured, and all direct parties should act based upon international law. An early coming down of the situation is extremely important. And once again, we urge that hostages should be released. Once again, as the government of Japan, we'd like to continue to cooperate with countries to calm down the situation. We'd like to accumulate our diplomatic efforts one by one. The second point, to respond to your second question on the 26th New York time, I understand that emergency UNGA meeting will be resumed regarding Israel and Palestine situation. As the government of Japan, based upon Japan's position regarding Israel and Palestine at the UN and other fora, while condemning the attack by Hamas and so on, it is necessary to immediately release the hostages and all civilians' safety should be ensured and all direct parties should act based upon international law and early de-escalation of the situation is necessary. We have been conveying this message all along, currently including Japan and the US on a bilateral basis and a multilateral basis. All sorts of diplomatic efforts are accumulated one by one against this backdrop. Countries are getting together at this UNGA forum at the emergency meeting. This will be a very important occasion. I hope that this meeting will calm down the situation. And as the government of Japan, we'd like to make proactive efforts. Thank you. Pan Orient News, Mr. Azhari. Sorry, Pan Orient News. According to Syrian official and other media reports, Israel has committed a terrorist and criminal bombing attack uh, on the two main civilian airports in Syria that led to uh, casualty of civilians, according to the reports. And the two airports were uh, in Aleppo and Damascus, the capital, were destroyed and they were out of service uh, as of now. Uh, would Japan condemn this Israeli terrorist and criminal attack on this uh, civilian airport and uh, on a sovereign state? Thank you. I am aware about the press release by Syria, but so far Israeli has not commented whether they have executed the attack or not. At any rate, the Israeli-Palestinian situation is highly tense and uncertain, so we will continue to pay careful attention over the entire situation in the Middle East. We will closely communicate with the countries, and we will continue our diplomatic effort to calm down the situation. The next question, please. Anadolu News, Mel Jansan, please. Mel Jansan of Anadolu News, please. News Agency, uh, this is Furkan. Uh, in your statement at the Cairo conference, you also expressed the sensitivities of Japanese government towards Israel and towards Hamas. Of course, uh, we, do, we do not take sides in a voyage we, in which civilians are killed in both sides. In its statements, the Japanese government condemns the parties to the crisis. In the statements, the Japanese government condemns the attacks on civilians by Hamas and others, and similar, similar expressions are used. The Japanese government condemns Hamas which attacks Israel civilians, is directly condemned. But uh, the Japanese government uh, doesn't condemn the Israeli army, which attacks Palestinian civilians. So what do you think about that? Thank you. Regarding the attack by Hamas and so on, ever since we have uh, been condemning the attacks, against uh, civilians, innocent uh, civilians, and attacks and abductions uh, cannot be justified for any reason. As the government of uh, Japan, we have a firmly condemned terror attack by Hamas and so on. On that uh, basis, in Japan, uh, we have uh, no legal system to recognize the terror organizations uh, legally. 
But in 2003, on the 30th of uh, September, September the 30th, 2003, based upon the cabinet uh, understanding, we have uh, made uh, Hamas uh, subject to acid freeze and so on, which is a measure against terrorists. Next, uh, Iwata-san, Yomiuri Shimbun newspaper. Yoda Yomiyoshima. This is about uh, the ambassador personal affair. Uh, the cabinet decision has been made that China, Russia, uh, the new ambassadors have been decided. Uh, can you tell us the reason? I uh, will refrain from commenting on each and every of uh, the personal affairs, but uh, the people are placed uh, depending on uh, the capacity and their achievements in placing appropriate person in appropriate positions. Uh, the ministry will work together as a whole, including the new ambassadors, and we will do our utmost of extensive diplomatic issues. Next question. The next question, please. Uh, Kawaguchi san of Mani Shimbu newspaper, please. Mani Shimbu newspaper, Kawaguchi, uh, thank you very much about ambassador appointments. This time around for a Russian ambassador to for, for Japanese ambassador to Russia, it's changing for the first time in eight years because of Russian invasion of uh, Ukraine, Japan Russia relations are stagnant. What sort of uh, expectations do you have uh, from the new ambassador? Thank you. I'd like to refrain from making a comment one by one about individual appointments. When it comes to personal appointments based upon individuals' skills and abilities, we are allocating people at appropriate position, inappropriate positions. On that basis, Russia's invasion of Ukraine is an outrage and that shakes the foundation of the international order is completely unacceptable. So that Russian invasion of Ukraine can be stopped as soon as possible, Japan would like to cooperate with the international community, including the G7, on a continuous basis. And we will implement other measures such as uh, strong sanctions against uh, Russia. At the same time, uh, there are issues where Japan and Russia should jointly address uh, such as economic activities including uh, fishing as well as a uh, maritime safety uh, matter. From the viewpoint of uh, what will serve Japan's national interests in the overall diplomacy of Japan, we will make appropriate responses. Regarding the Northern Territories uh, issue, we will maintain the policy of solving territorial uh, issue and concluding a peace treaty. Thank you. Uh, this will be the last question. Uh, Mr. Sushiro, Indonesia Tribune. Uh, good morning. Thank you for the opportunity. Ambassador Kanasugi, who is expected to uh, become the ambassador of uh, China and the new embassy to to new ambassador to Indonesia. It seems that it has been decided. So can you discuss about this aspect? And if possible, I would like to interview the new ambassador before he goes to the country. Add to the cabinet decision as of today, the next Japanese ambassador to Indonesia will be Masaki Yasushi, who is the ambassador to the a permanent representative of Japan to the EU. In that regard, indeed, I can tell you that it has been decided officially. This will be the end of the press conference. Thank you very much.